Have you ever been in a situation where maybe a friend or a relative or someone you know pretty well has a big problem? And you can see the answer totally clearly what they should do to solve the problem. But they can't see it. And they come to you and, or you're just talking to them and they say, you know, I'm not happy in my marriage or I'm not happy in my business. This employee, he's not performing well or this part of my business isn't working well. Or the job I'm in, I'm not happy with my career and the way, I'm, way things are going. And you can see what they should do. And you say to them, look, you're in the wrong marriage. You're with the wrong person. Or everything you're doing, if you do that, it's only going to upset them. Stop upsetting them. Or change your job. Get rid of your business. Get rid of that employee who's not right for the business. But here's the interesting thing. You can see clearly what they should do, but they can't. And they come back, when you say this, with all of the reasons why that's not a good idea and why it wouldn't work and why their idea of persevering with the problem is a better, better approach. And the funny thing is, they're the ones with all the information. They're the ones who've spent all of the time analysing, trying to figure out what to do. They have far more information than you do about the problem, but you can see the answer and they can't. And that's because focusing in a state of fear, frustration, which they're in, but you're not, that's what's keeping them stuck. In a state of overwhelm, confusion and frustration. And of course, what's the real difference between how they feel about their problem and how you feel? They have a fear of the consequences. They're worried about the future. But you're not, because it's, it's not your future, but you can, you can see clearly what their future could look like, that it could be so much better because you're not worried about it. So what else happens when you're in a state of fear, frustration, anxiety, stress and worry about your life, about a problem? Apart from it keeping you stuck and frustrated and overwhelmed and confused and unable to see the right things to do, the other thing it does is it ensures that you keep doing the wrong things. Because of all this analysis and all this trying to come up with the answers, trying to figure out what to do, you find you just keep doing the wrong things despite all of that. And you look at yourself and you look back when something doesn't go the way you expected. You start off by thinking, right, well, my, that person said that. What do I need to do about it? I need to analyse the way the situation is now and do this. I've come to the conclusion I should act in this way. So you act in that way and, it, and you get a negative reaction. So a good example is, say your wife or your husband, you're not getting on so well and you think, well, what I need to do is I need to show them love and affection. So you come home, home one day and you give them a gift and you say, I love you. And the reaction isn't what you expect. It doesn't improve the situation. In fact, very often it has the opposite effect. Instead of your spouse feeling loved, they feel manipulated. They're thinking, we're not getting on well in our relationship and you come and tell me that you love me and you bring me some flowers. That's almost like you're not listening to how I'm feeling and what I've been telling you, that things aren't going well. We need, it, it, you can't just paper over the cracks by doing that and expecting everything will be fine again. 